Hello and welcome to Rovi Products. We are here today to demonstrate the assembly process of our internal expanding collets. We'll be covering our 5C, 16C, and 3J assemblies. For demonstration purposes, we'll be using our 5C-2 collet and our 5C internal mini collets. We have the sleeve, and for this demonstration, we will be using the SL2-5C. Then, you have the rod assembly, which consists of the threaded rod, collet nut, and lock nut, along with the expanding screw. You then have the expanding collet. We will be using the 1x1-2 in this demonstration. First take the sleeve, and by using a clean rag, you want to wipe the inside of the sleeve to remove any dirt or oil. Then take the expanding collet and wipe off the taper as well to ensure that there is no dirt or oil on it. Then mate the two together. To ensure that the collet is firmly seated into the sleeve, we suggest that you take a rubber or plastic hammer and tap the face of the collet. Then you want to insert the rod assembly. Notice the slot on the sleeve and the key on the collet nut. Align both of them up and insert the collet nut into the rear of the sleeve. Then take the expanding screw and begin to thread it into the tapped hole of the rod. Make sure to grab the back end of the threaded rod with your fingers. This will prevent the rod from turning as you screw in the expanding screw. We suggest that you use an Allen wrench for this portion of the assembly. Tighten the screw until you feel it bottom out into the rod. We are now set to adjust our travel. Make sure that the lock nut is not seated against the collet nut. By turning the thread rod, you control the amount of stroke for the screw. We suggest that you leave 1 8 to 3 16th of gap between the back face of the sleeve and front face of the collet nut. After the travel is set, we suggest that you take a 5C collet wrench to hold the sleeve. With a 9 16th wrench, you want to tighten up the lock nut against the collet nut. This ensures that the rod will not turn while in the machine. Then tap the front face of the collet on the table or use a mallet to release the expanding screw from the taper of the collet. We now can insert the assembled expanding collet into the spindle of our machine to begin the machining process.